gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. My next guest here on The Late Show is an actor you know from shows like Grey's Anatomy and Little Fires Everywhere. He now stars in the new Netflix rom-com, Your Place or Mine. Please welcome Jesse Williams. <laughs> Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Steven, can I just start by saying what a huge fan I am of yours? I used to sit in the audience at Colbert Report. Oh, Me you and did? my brothers, we would come and really? watch you. Just wow. Strangers with Candy, Bailey Show. Strangers Col with Candy. Colbert Report is just the Holy most incredible cow. written and performed show on television for so long. I'm just a really huge fan. I just want to give you your, your flowers. Well, I'm that's really lovely. Thank you very much. To be really able lovely. to be here now after. I... I am really enjoying this interview right now. <laughs> okay, my Well, you're a busy, really busy man yourself. Okay, you just finished, uh, you're, you're, you wrapped up Broadway play in the, 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 the Tony Award winning Take Me Out. That's right. Now, That's right. now, you're in one of the most, one of the most fun shows out there right now. You're in season three of Only Murders in the Building. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty It wild. is. I mean, to be able, what, what an honor and a pleasure to spend time with Steve Martin and Martin Short. It's wild. What is it like to, for you to hang with it's those It's wild. Guys? I just started shooting, shooting the show. Um, uh, Steve and Marty both came to the play, actually, and took oh, me out to dinner. Nice. We had a really long dinner, and it was, I'm, I grew up, you know, as we all did. Like, sure, sure. these guys are just the titans, so I'm just in awe. Completely in awe, and so far so good. My first day on set was with Meryl Streep, Paul Rudd, Martin Short, Steve Martin, no pressure. Selena Gomez. No pressure. It was, it's wow. awesome. I'm just so happy to. So ten years on Grey's Anatomy, right? Yeah. Or almost ten years, yeah. ten seasons yeah. on Grey's yeah. Anatomy. Yeah. The lovely Ellen Pompeo. Yep. Did so, uh, but what was it like? What's it like to stretch? You know, stretch your legs doing comedy now because uh, it's a, it's a slightly different beast. Yeah, it's great. It's great to learn and completely fumble, but I'm learning and trying to play around with, with some of the comedy stuff, being a little mm -hmm. lighter. It's a little more kind of my natural disposition. And, mm -hmm. and, and these people who I really admire and the writers are incredible. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy to be able to get that balance. Also, so much of my work, I do a lot of social justice work and a lot of things around really serious issues. So yes. it's nice to kind of have a balance and just fill your soul in many ways. So When you're doing Grey's Anatomy, uh, did you ever, <laughs> do people ever think that you knew about uh, medicine? Oh, yeah, a couple times. It, it's very, it's odd, and I've, I've said this before, but I've been on a plane two different times when they have said, is there a doctor on board, somebody needs it, and they look at me. <laughs> and and I'm, I say, the one thing you know about me for sure is I'm not a doctor. Right. But yet and still, You're it's happened two different occasions. That two good of an actor, occasions. man. I mean, that's, an that's, a great, that's a good way to spin it. And you just go up there and just keep acting and go, we're losing him! Yeah. <laughs> still. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'll have another gin and tonic. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, okay, with all the, with all, you know, with all this work that you're, you're, you're doing, which is great, you yeah. know, as an actor, when you're not working, you feel like you'll never work. Yeah, for but real. When you are working, you feel like you'll always work, but you do need time to wind down. What do you do for fun? What, what's, what's your off time activity? For me, I think the greatest piece is being on the ocean, being out on the water. I've, uh, How I've do you got, do I've got a ton on? of family in New England, and in Maine, I grew up sailing and, and, from being a very small kid, racing widgeons, and, wow. and my, a lot of mem family members are boat builders, and we've got some boat boats. builders. Okay, boat that's builders and, and sea captains, and um, my sea brothers. Sea captains. For real. So you're a crusty old dog, yeah, is what yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah, salty dog. Salty dog. Um, so what is open ocean open, uh, sailing, yeah, racing, that kind of in stuff? In the cove, or? out in the bay, open ocean. I've done five, six day trips at one without touching land on a schooner. Wow, that, uh, that, uh, just saying the word that, schooner yeah, makes, with, you, I did a, makes you seem salty. Five-day five trip on with, a, with two of my good friends uh, on a mm -hmm. sleuth, 30-foot sleuth up from Providence up to essentially Nova Scotia almost. Um, wow. So, yeah, I love being, being on the water. That's certainly one of my very peaceful Nothing places. like being on the water at night with the stars. Yeah, for Extraordinary. Real. Yeah. Do you fish when you're out there? You know, you... I haven't spent a lot of time fishing. I'm about to take a vacation and... Uh, and and do try to do some fishing. Mm -hmm. I've done up in Maine. I have as kids we mackerel. The mackerel would run in August, and you know they're, mackerel, they're Spanish mackerel, Atlantic mackerel. Sure. They're yeah, little sure. ten inch wet ones. Wet, yeah, wet, wet, and they wet, just and they <laughs> and and they um and no, they just run on the top of the surface. I mean, I'm a little sure. kid, we'd have a baler and throw a line out, and you just yeah. and they just jump in the damn boat. I mean, it was it was. It was pretty, so I don't know it's if I call exciting. that fishing. No, that's fishing. But that's uh, fishing. I remember my brother taking my baler full of mackerel and just after the whole day doing it, just throwing it overboard. He oh. didn't know. He was like three. 
Sure. But sure. I hold it against them every Festivus. As well, yeah. as well, as well, as well, as well you should. Um, you're in this new rom-com. Yeah, that's right. Um, you know, uh, Your Place or Mine, yeah. with Reese Witherspoon and Ashton Kutcher. Yeah. Um, we, we have a clip here. What are we going to see? I believe that this is when Reese and I first meet. Um, she's got a, you'll note, a ridiculously large beverage that's like a garden salad. Mm. And, um, and it's, it's when we first encounter each other, and that le lends itself to a little uh, and romantic entanglement. Who do you play? Um, Theo Martin, a famous book editor in New York City, mm -hmm. um, so a literature guy, and that's how her and I connect. She's a, she's a writer, editor, and you know how this thing goes. We've got similar interests and uh, some fireworks. Jim. <laughs> Theo Martin, I've read every Duncan Press book. Wow, well, not every book. I mean, no way. Yes, way. Okay. 870-page tome set on a pirate ship in the South Pacific. Hobart's Horizon. I read it in two days. All right, spy novel set in Crete. O Ocean of Lies. I mean, one of the best. I kept saying for a week, e my costa copas. <laughs> Sorry. That's um, Greek for I'm, I'm a, a spy. spy. Sure. All right, I got it, I got it. You did not read the Dust Bowl book because no one read the Dust Bowl book. Where the rattlesnake sings? I, I bought it the day it came out. That was you? I'm pretty sure we only sold the one copy. That was me, I bought it. Uh. Zoe Cha was great in that. It's great. Jesse, lovely to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for, for being me. here. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate Your Place it. or Mine is on Netflix now. Jesse Williams, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by Ray. <laughs>